Have you ever wondered how someone adds numbers so quickly in their heads? Sometimes it seems like they can just take apart the numbers, do some magic, and then poof, they have a sum. What if I told you they really were taking the numbers apart? It's called partial sums, and it's a good strategy for adding whole numbers, fractions, decimals, or any other number type. It's called partial sums because you break the numbers you're adding, called add-ins, into parts. You add the parts of the two add-ins, and then you put everything back together again. For example, think about 36 plus 75. You can break 36 into 30 and 6. You can break 75 into 70 and 5. Then add the 10s, 30 plus 70 is 100, and the 1s, 6 plus 5 is 11. Now put the 10s and the 1s back together, and poof, 111. That's the sum. The great thing about partial sums is that you don't have to break apart numbers by place value. Another way to think about it is to break 36 into 25 and 11, because 25 plus 75 is easy. It's 100. Then you just add the 11 on and poof, 111. Good stuff, right? But did you know you don't even have to break apart both numbers? You can choose to break apart one of them and find partials from there. You might even count on. Our 36 plus 75 is a great example. You can break 75 into 70 and 5, creating 36 plus 70, which is 106, then add the 5, and again we have, poof, the sum of 111. There's no end to how you can break apart numbers and add them. You want to break them apart to make them easier to work with. Students might not be doing this at first in their heads, but, well, as their skills grow, you'll find they can do just that. They can start to do problems in their head. And that's a great thing.